Coding Dojo is a programming school that turns beginners into developers in only 14 weeks. If you're serious about landing a career in tech, but lack the formal education or background, Coding Dojo will get you there in no time. With over 3,000 graduates to date, over 90% of their grads land jobs within three months of graduating, often making over 70 k per year at tech firms of all sizes, from companies like Google to local startups. To learn more, visit CodingDojo.com or click the link in the description below. Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here. So, and continuing my series of melancholy videos of, of fucking up and trying to get back on track as I'm trying to do this now and trying to make videos at the same time to make sure that I'm, I'm not dropping the ball here. I want to talk about something that I think is really important, uh, which is something that I can lose track of and it can send me spinning into that deathward, that downward spiral, that death spiral of guilt, remorse, lack of motivation, which is forgetting to take things one day at a time. So, you know, one of the critical things that I, I think is critical for long-term success, especially when you're grinding, right? Because, you know, I did this video on life being a grind and, and loving the grind, right? And you've got to be able to do this to be successful in life. I don't, I don't care what people say. There's always a grind. You want to build a good physique, it's going to be a grind. You want to make money, you want to build a business, it's going to be a grind. You want to increase your career, it's going to be a grind. You want to level up in World of Warcraft, it's going to be a fucking grind. You know what I mean? Everything is a grind, right? So the thing is, one of the things that's so important in, in making it through the grind is taking every day, one day at a time, and realizing that you just got to get done what you need to get done for that day, right? I, I did this video where I made this, this spreadsheet where I said what I'm going to do that day right in order to get back on track here and really like when I think about it in the future when I think about how far I have to go like doing a week of this or two weeks of this and fasting and and eating these small meals you know not and, and doing all this running it, it seems overwhelming it seems like a lot of work it seems like a lot of effort it seems like oh I'm never going to do this oh man this is just too much but when I think about it in terms of one day, right? Every single one of these days, some of these days are challenging, right? But every single one of these days is possible because I know I've done it before and I can do it again. And so all I have to do is just, you know, again, it, in fact, it's more simple than just a day. It's when I go out there and I go and do the run, I need to just fucking do my run, right? Just got to run my five miles. That's it, right? Or if I'm fasting for that day, I just got to fast. I just got to not eat, right? I just got to do my next run. Every single thing I'm breaking it down and I'm saying, I just got to do this, right? So right now, it's about time I got to go overhead to the gym and I'm going to lift and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten today, right? But I'm just going to take a couple of BCAs and I'm just going to hit the lifting and that's it. And all I'm going to think about is doing that. And when I'm done with that, then I'm going to eat my meal and then that's that, right? And then I'll be done with that day as long as I don't eat any more food and I'll accomplish what I plan on accomplishing for that day. And then I can move on to the next day and the next day it'll be the same thing. You know, I'll wake up in the morning. I'll go, I'll do my run, and that's that. Then I'll go and I'll do my second run, and that's that. And then I'll go and I'll do my kickboxing class, and that's that. And that's all I gotta do, is just take it one day at a time, one step at a time, one thing at a time, rather than you know thinking about all this stuff and, and being overwhelmed. You know, Even thinking about tomorrow, I'm already like starting to feel overwhelmed about tomorrow, but it doesn't matter, right? What I have to do is I have to forget about that, forget about tomorrow, have a plan see that's the thing and i think this is kind of the create the key critical thing is that you got to have like the plan for the week or the plan for the next day or the plan for the month or the plan for the year but you can't worry about it it's almost like you have to be blind it's almost like you have you know you put on the goggles and you make out the, the calendar and you plan out this day this this is what i'm going to eat this is what i'm going to do right this is what i'm going to work on and then you have to forget it and then you have to be blind so you can only see one day at a time. In fact, you can only see one activity at a time. And so it's like, okay, now it's time to go run. So now I'm going to go run. And that's all that you can see in order to be successful. And that's hard. It's hard to do, right? It's hard to have that planning mode where you see it all and then to focus narrowly down. But it's so important, right? And this is one of those things. Like I said, I lost track of this and it cost me dearly, right? I should have pulled out of this death spiral, I should have pulled, I should have gotten back on the wagon about, about half a week ago, right? It should have been only like a couple of days of going down. But what started to happen was 
I started thinking about the future. I started thinking about how much work, how much I needed to do to recover, and it started to demotivate me, and then I started making judgment calls instead of just focusing on what I need to do and what I need to execute on, right? And so this is part of what I'm doing with these video series also is I'm re-motivating myself. I'm recommitting, I'm making sure that I'm not gonna fuck up because that's the scariest thing. For me, that's the scariest thing in life is, is losing what you've worked for so hard, right? And I'm not even just talking about like, from a physical or monetary perspective, but from a mental, from an endurance perspective, right? Becoming, like if you become something and then you lose that, that's horrible. I'm never gonna go back to what I was. I'm always gonna move forward. But in order to do that, I gotta make these big commitments and I gotta make these choices, but it requires me to be narrow-minded and singly focused to look at one day at a time, one event, one activity at a time, and just fucking execute it. All right, that's all I have for you. The, the one thing I have for you to do right now is to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.